Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we entered the radio tower here back in Goldenrod City to pursue the Team Rocket members for whatever it is that they are doing. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on doing that, so let's go ahead and not waste any time and fight some rockets. You plan to rescue the director? That won't be possible because I'm going to beat you. Alrighty then, let's see what kind of Pokemon you have that will quote unquote beat me. I'm guessing you don't have anything too threatening because you are a rocket grunt. And that Zubat indicates that you don't really have anything that can take me down. Because it's level 22, I have a 10 level above Crobat. That will indeed knock you down pretty efficiently here. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Nothing to worry about there. And let's see, what is your next Pokemon? You have a Golbat. That is interesting. I think I'm going to have Nikki come out out here and take care of you because the Ice Punch is real. And it will knock you down to the ground real fast as well. So come on out, Nikki. That is the Jinx language for I'm going to throw you down real fast. So let's go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. And that's it for that story. And now what is your last Pokemon that you're going to send out? Hopefully something that will be dangerous. And it is a Grimer. Eh, nothing too threatening I guess. Let's go back into Patrol once again. Because Patrol should be able to knock this thing out in one hit real quick too. Man, I just love seeing Crobat spray on the screen. I remember when we first got our Zubat, and it was very weak, it wasn't very strong, and even as a uh, Golbat, it didn't really do much to us, or with us on our team. We had other Pokemon that were stronger. No, unbelievable! Yeah, sure enough. But now that we have Crobat, he is just doing wonders here. Most excellent. This radio tower will fulfill our grand design. Alrighty then, let's see if that is the truth. So what do you have here? A Magnemite? A Magneton, maybe? No, you have a Porygon. Well, that is unique, because I believe this is the only point in the game where we see a trainer have Porygon on his team. Which is pretty cool, all things considered. Now, fun fact, in the anime, Porygon was only in one episode. And that episode was banned because it caused epilepsy and seizures among children in Japan. So they decided not even to show that completely for rightfully right reasons. Hmm. All grand plans come with snags. Yes, they do. All right, so let's go ahead up here. And look at that. It's the director. You you came to rescue me. Is that what you were expecting? Wrong. I'm an imposter. I pretended to be the real thing to prepare for our takeover. Do you want to know where we hit the real director? Sure, I'll tell you, but only if you can beat me. Alrighty then, looks like it was it's not gonna be as easy as we expected because we're facing off against a rocket executive with six Pokemon. Oh my goodness. And also they are all coughings with one wheezing. And that's it. So looks like we're gonna have to take these guys down pretty quick. Because that's what we're gonna do. And they have tackles. Pretty nice coughings that have tackle, isn't it? Pretty nice for us. Let's go for another wing attack and knock this thing down to the ground and with that we hit level 33 as well very nice for us as well perfect now your next Pokemon is another coughing and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna send out bro against these guys because we do have the confusion and yeah I could send out Nikki but I really want bro to gain some experience because he's not really doing well among all the other Pokemon that we have and I think I want to give him some love because that's just a great thing to do Will you knock this thing out with confusion? No. Yeah, and that is why I say you're not doing so well among the other Pokemon that we have. But that is okay, you will do better, I promise. Once you evolve, everything will be alright. Alright, what is your next Pokemon? Another coughing. Alrighty then. So, bro, you are doing just fine. I'm not worrying about it. Also, I feel like Surf is going to do more damage. Because confusion with super effective damage is what... 60 to oh, of course of course bro goes down well I guess Nikki is gonna have to come here and finish the job it's all right bro you'll have another chance eventually I promise but yeah let's see confusion plus stab times 2 is 120 and then surf does 90 plus or times 1.5 which is 135 so yeah so surf would have done more damage so oh well oh well bro will have his time I promise he will have his time Let's go for the confusion once again. And that's going to be it for this coughing, because of course Jinx has a higher special attack stat than 
uh, Slowpoke does, rightfully so. Well, now we're level 33! Alright, two more Pokémon, and one of them is a Weezing! There we go! That is what I wanted to see. This thing is going to prove to be dangerous if we don't knock this thing out pretty quick. Now, do I have a revive on my side? I don't think I do. Uh, I do not. I have a poison barb, which is nice. But yeah, I don't have any revives. Eh, it's not too bad. Let's go for the ice punch. I mean, if I wanted to, I could go back and heal, which I think I'm going to do when we get out of here. A nice freeze! That is perfect. One more ice punch will knock this thing out. And it won't really be a threat to us in any way, shape, or form. But look at all that experience. That is a ton of experience. Alright, coughing. This is it. This is your last shot to being useful. Except you're going to go down. Let's go for the confusion. And that is it. We have finished off this rocket executive. Pretty easy experience considering coughings do give a lot of experience. What do you have to say now, executive? Okay, okay, I'll tell you where he is. We stashed the real director in the underground warehouse. It's at the far end of the underground, but I doubt you'll get that far. And we get the basement key! Cool stuff! Alright, let's get the heck out of here because there's really no need to be here anymore. And if you weren't paying attention, there is one area over here that is not accessible to us. We need to get something else in order to open that door. More specifically, a card key. But we'll get that pretty soon. But the fake director told us that we need to go to the underground warehouse in order to save the real director, but we will be heading there, but before we do that, I do want to heal my Pokemon really quick, because Bro has passed out, and I want him to be fully healed up for the next area coming up, which is the underground, which is a continuation of what we've been doing, so let's go ahead and take a few, like a minute or so to heal up our Pokemon, and get everybody ready to go for the next area coming up. I pretty much said the same thing at least three or four times in that one sentence alone. Which is what I tend to do because I have a real problem with repeating myself. Which is always something that happens to me. But, let's go ahead and dive into the underground. Now, I want to switch my team around because this area coming up is going to have something and I want to make sure my Pokemon are fully prepared for what's coming. So, let's come over here, which is an area that I mentioned before that we couldn't get into until way later in the game. Well, at this point... We can now get through, so let's jump right in. And no, get back in there, thank you, and head down these stairs. And what is going to happen? Oh boy. Hold it. I saw you, so I tailed you. I don't need your underfoot while I take care of Team Rocket. Wait a second, you beat me before, didn't you? That was just a fluke, but I repay my debts. Oh, of course, what a great time to fight him now when we're trying to deal with the Rocket members. But Jeremy, of course, wants to battle again. He's going to lead things off with a Gold Bat, level 30, Poison Flying type with the moves, Wing Attack, Confuse Ray, Bite, and Leech Life. Not threatening by any way, shape, or form, because Nikki has got the Ice Punch, and that is going to take care of this thing really quick, which is why I had Nikki lead first, because of that instance. But there we go. What else do you have for us, Mr. Jeremy, sir? You have a Sneasel. Alright, so who do I want to take care of that? Hmm... I think Red Bull can handle things from here. So Sneasel is a new Pokemon, level 32, Dark and Ice type with the moves Faint Attack, Leer, Quick Attack, and Screech. This thing has a pretty high attack stat. However, it doesn't really benefit from that too much because, well, Ice and Dark are both special attacks in this game, and Iron Tail is super effective against this thing as well. So Sneasel is also really frail, it won't last very long against an Iron Tail at all, so... There we go. Not too bad at all. Your next Pokemon is a Magnemite. Alright, that's cool because we do have Cinder for that. It's, he has a Magnemite, level 28, Electric Steel type with the move Sonic Boom, Thunder Wave, Tackle, and Thunder Shock. Of course, we're going to do what we always do and just click Flame Wheel. And again, we will take this thing out. Uh, Jeremy at this point isn't that bad considering, well, we have a lot of options against him. So there we go. And he has two more Pokemon. What is his next choice? He has Feraligator! Well, that could be really dangerous if we're not careful. Uh, I could send out Flowey for this. You know what? I think I'm going to. Feraligator is his ace, level 32, water type with the moves Bite, Scary Face, Rage, and Water Gun. If you chose Chikorita, he will have Aqualava. Yes, a 
freaking Quilava. Level 32, Fire type with the moves Ember, Smokescreen, Quick Attack, and Flame Wheel. And if you chose Totodile, he'll have a Meganium, level 32, Grass type with the moves Poison Powder, Razor Leaf, Body Slam, and Reflect. If you chose, um, if you chose Chikorita, this guy is a pushover because he still has Quilava. And for those of you who don't know, Quilava does evolve at level 36, which is, well, not the level that these guys are at quite yet. So I thought that was just interesting because his, all his other Pokemon are fully evolved except the Quilava if you chose Chikorita. Now Absorb will do pretty much the same amount as Sludge Bomb. So, and for Alligator is still asleep. Which is nice for us, because we're just going to go for another Sludge Bomb. And this Flowergator doesn't really have too much going that, that can hurt Flowey in, by any means. So I think this thing is going to go down really fast. And it's still asleep! I couldn't have asked for a better fight, to be honest. So one more Sludge Bomb, and that is going to take care of this Flowergator. And then we will move on to his final Pokemon. Good job, Flowey. That was a great show of battle that you did there. And wow, that was a lot of experience. Your final Pokemon is a Haunter. And I know just the Pokemon to take care of for that. Uh, where are you? Bertro, you got this. So, he has a Haunter. Level 30. Ghost and Poison type with the move. Shadow Ball. Lick, Curse, and Mean Look. And that is literally the easiest thing. So let's go for the Wing Attack. Since Haunter are frail to physical attacks, this may knock it out. If not, no, not quite. Ooh, but he has Shadow Ball, which is a physical attack. Which didn't really do anything. And yes, Shadow Ball is a physical attack that lowers special defense. That kind of stinks, because Ghost-type moves in this game are physical. But there we go. We defeated him. Why? Why? Why did I lose? I have assembled the toughest Pokemon. I didn't ease up on the gas, so why do I lose? I don't understand. Is that what Lance Guy said true? I don't treat Pokemon properly? Love. Trust. Are they really what I lack? Are they keeping me from winning? I, I just don't understand. But that's not going to end here. Not now. Not because of this. I won't give up on my dream of becoming the world's best Pokemon trainer. Hmm. Seems that Jeremy is getting going through a revelation here. Maybe the way he's been training his Pokemon is the key that he's not doing so well after all. But enough of that, we still have rockets. I don't care who you lost. You show up here, you're nothing but a victim. That was a poorly said sentence by me. Alright, so now that we're back to fighting rockets and pretty easy trainers for that matter, except one Pokemon here, which is the- wow, a Rattata. Are you kidding me right now? A level 27 Rattata. You would think this thing would be a, um, Raticate by now, but it's not. But I figured I'd send out Bro just so he can take care of this thing with Surf. And I'm not even sure if Surf will even knock this thing out. Will it? Yeah, it does. Alright, I over- I underestimated you, Bro. I am so sorry for that. But, there we go. Urk, yeah, you're cool, huh? Yeah, I think I am. And, fun fact, these, there are three rockets here. We'll open one shutter, cl another closes, but bet you can't get where you want. Wow, let me think for a minute before I speak words. I need to learn how to look at words and then say what the words say on the screen, because that's how reading works. And, oh boy, muck. Alright, well, this could be bad, but of course, I'm not going to let it go bad because you only have pound. But I do have the Surf, and I mean, this could be bad because Muck specializes in special defense, so Surf really won't do anything, to be honest. Yeah, not quite. So let's see if Confusion does anything. I mean, I'm not too worried because this thing has Pound. Alright, let's see if Confusion does any better. I did mention that Surf does more damage. And wow, that was pretty good damage, to be honest. Well, I'll do one more of those, and then I'll take care of this thing. Good job, Slowpoke. You are doing wonders right now, even though you're not evolved yet. But there we go. And we hit level 33 as well. Very nice for us. Now, what is your last Pokemon? Or you have two Pokemon left. All right. So let's see. Flowey, you need to be level 33. So I'm going to send you out because Rattatas are pretty easy prey for us at this point. So let's go Flowey. All right, Flowey, you're going for the Sludge Bomb. And I know Flower is a bit on the slow side, but that is okay because Sludge Bomb is going to be doing a ton of damage, which will be nice to take care of for these guys. Sweet for us. Let me guess, your last Pokemon is either a Rattata, or a Raticate, or a Grimer. It's a coughing. Alright, I was wrong in all those ways. Uh, hmm. That's a great question. Who do I want to use now? Let's go for Nikki, because why not? 
And I'm just glad I'm able to switch around all of my Pokemon and use whoever is best for the situation. That's what's nice about having a diverse team for me, is that I can just switch to any Pokemon that I think could take care of the situation nicely. But the confusion here should knock out this coughing really quick. Just like that! And better yet, we're now level 34! And that's it for that! That's the next rocket grunt down. Drat, I was sunk by indecision! That made no sense to me whatsoever. But we have one more rocket grunt here, so I do have a Pokemon that can handle that. Uh, I think Red Bull would be the one to take care of this, so let's go ahead and do it. Quahaha! <laughs> Confounded by the shutters, are we? I'll let you on a little secret if you can beat me. Are you going to tell me that one shutter opens and another one closes like the last rocket grunt did? If so, then that's a u very useless tip, but we'll see what he has to say. Right now, he's got coughings to deal with, so... Red Bull, you are the man for the plan, with the plan. Let's go for the headbutt here and see if this does anything threatening. Oh, so close, but we did get the flinch, which is always welcome, but... So close, man. You really tried your best, didn't you, my friend? Let me guess, you have a wheezing. No, he has a muck. Alright, well, that's something else. That is okay, because mucks do give a lot of experience, so a headbutt should be able to do decent amount of damage to this thing, right? Quite. And you're going for the Harden. Well, that's certainly doing you favors, isn't it? One more headbutt will take you out pretty fast, right? Sure enough. Give me all that delicious experience, please. And that is it for you. Ooh, I blew it. Alright, what is your tip? Alright, a hint. Change the order of switching. That'll change the ways the shutters open and close. Alright, so I believe the answer that we're gonna do here is 3, 2, 1. Uh, that will allow us to get to the end really quick, if memory serves, and we can get to the end really fast as well. And I mean, we're gonna be skipping out on trainers by doing it this way and missing on some items, but I don't think the items in here are that decent. Uh, you. I guess we'll fight you, why not? They ditched this project before they finished. I'm searching for leftover loot. So this guy is not even related to the case of Team Rocket here. He's just a burglar trying to find some things he can steal. His name is Eddie, which is hilarious because it reminds me of Ed, Ed and Eddie. Because Eddie would do that in that show. It's actually one of my favorite cartoons of all time. It's a really good show. But let's go for the headbutt like you always do. And that should knock out the Growlithe. Same song and dance. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing really much going on. So let's just continue on the fight. Ooh, another coughing. Uh, I'm gonna send out... Bro. I would send out Nikki, But Nikki's already level 34. And I mean, Bro is still level 33, I think. And Bro's got the Surf. And wow, we outspeed! Man, unless the quick, unless that was the Quick Claw's doing. I think things are going pretty well here for us. Are you gonna knock it out? Yes, you are. Good job. Three more levels until you evolve, and I am so ready for it. Over the top. Sure enough. Alrighty then, so let's go down here. And face this guy as well. Fork over your goodies. But I don't want to do that. I want to be able to beat you and gain the experience and then defeat you. And then you give me money for winning. And your name is Duncan. What a name. But of course, we have more coughings. I mean, I'm not complaining. Coughings give a lot of experience. So I don't know what I'm worrying about. It's just unoriginal. We've seen plenty of these throughout the game so far. At least we're knocking them out really fast. I mean, that might have been a damage range, but I really wouldn't know. Ooh, a Magmar! Oh boy, that is interesting. I do have a water type for that. Wow! When was the last time we've seen a Magmar? I think it was uh, north of Goldenrod, and I thought it was interesting to see then. I mean, this thing is not that threatening at all, but... And look at that slowdown. Please don't poison. Of course, as I say that. But we do have the Surf. Surf is going to be doing a lot of damage to this thing. I hope it knocks it out. That would be really, really nice. Please? Oh, come on. So close. And the Quick Claw works for us in our favor. That's amazing. Get out of here, Magmar. And let's move on to your final Pokemon. Another Coughing. Alright, so back to Red Bull we go because I'm pretty sure he's close to level 34. But still, seeing a Magmar is really cool. I mean, if anything, I would have loved to have gotten the Magmi out of the egg, but I already have a Fire-type, 
so maybe I wouldn't want it. I think the only Pokemon I would want out of the egg, if not Smoochum, would be Elekid. Because I think using Electabuzz would be really cool. Maybe another project. And we're trying to learn Rest. Hmm. Uh, I, we already have three normal type moves. Hmm. Would I ever use Rest for any situation? I don't think so. I'm really- I'm trying to think of a way I could use Rest. I mean, I could use a Berry to wake up from sleep for that, but... Huh. I'm wondering if I would even use that to my advantage in any way. I don't think I would, because I do have items. Hmm. I'm just being crazy. Well, we did pick up a full heal, so I guess I'm going to use that to cure poison. And then I'm going to heal up his uh, poison. Or I'm going to heal up his HP a little bit. So let's go for the Super Potion and heal up Bro a little bit. Because that is a nice thing to do. Alright, we do have one more rocket going on here. So I think it will be best to take her down. And I, uh, I would love to use Flowey. Yeah, I'll go for it. And if it's a Pokemon that I can't face off against, I will switch out. Because that's just the right thing to do. Are you lost? No, you can't be. You don't have that scared look. I'll give you something to be scared about. Alright, this will be the last trainer we fight in this episode before we end things off, because this video is going on pretty long. You have two Pokemon, and of course you have a Gloom, which actually is pretty nice considering Sludge Bomb would only do um, normal damage. It's not super effective or resisted, so this will work out just well in my favor. I guess the only thing I can be worried about is if this thing goes for Sleep Powder or something. And you're going for the Acid, which is not going to do anything to me. Look at that. Flower, you are showing dominance in your abilities to knock out another Gloom that is lower level. I am definitely proud of you. Get out of here, Gloom. And now your final Pokemon is what, another Gloom? Yeah, sure enough. Man, this is working out really well. Same level and everything? Yep, level 25. Let's go for another Sludge Bomb. I'm hoping this gets a critical, because if it does, then this fight will go by a little bit faster. Wow! I called that one! Nice! And there we go, Flower's level 33. Everyone is just gaining the levels, I'm very pleased. But there we go! How could you? Because I could? Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. Next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to continue through the underground warehouse in hopes of finding the real director and save him and then fix all this mess that is going on. That would be amazing. So with that being said, everybody, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Crystal. See you guys then.